the king ability all maxed out the queen ability all maxed out oh my goodness look at what he's doing here look at what he's doing he's going for this what look at this he's got another invis wait what is the what is happening we've got boom academy taking on a navi in this next match here starting with that zap lalo boom academy is also known from the last year's world championship here in in 2023 as super bltx so if you recognize that name that who's boom academy is also known as and we've got a flame flinger coming to the bottom side and we're gonna have a wallow as that lightning helped grab the defensive rage spell a multi-target inferno and an expo as well in this area as the queen is gonna make her way in for this town hall and if he's got a normal queen skin he's probably got all the rest of the normal hero skins i guess maybe as that queen's gonna path her way look wait look at it oh no he's got a pixel king okay as that rue rider opened up the wall because of the openings in the walls the wall break won't really target it so a rue rider is go going to allow this queen to step into the town hall but he needs to freeze up these ice golems or slows them down before the queen gets locked onto him pops the ability so she can secure the tunnel first and then the ice golems here well done town hall goes down but was it worth a queen like that could he have gotten away with like sneaky goblin to help go for the town hall there was storages so he would have invested quite a bit of them but the tunnel is down clan castles cleared as well so now he can come in the flame flinger opened up with the super minions the king's ability goes off as he's stepping through as the king is trying to get through some skellies some teslas the warden is down a lava hound as well to the top side as we have a defensive rage getting activated with that multi arch tower in the core as he pops that warden ability does have that level 15 life gem pulling a bunch of red air bombs with that warden ability protecting these balloons here as they try to make their way to that monolith they're gonna help go it goes down quick with that royal chance as he continues his way through does not have the fox on the rc but yo using the diggy to help stun dropping a skeleton spell on the backside to help definitely distract that ricochet cannon with more balloons coming to the bottom side to distract the wizard tower and we've got a three star tank and down hammer time dima's base going down and klaus is not in this war here for navi as the wizard tower is down and boom academy starting off with the three star GG. p castro is next up and looks to answer here for navi coming in with only three healers because my friends take a look at this the king ability all maxed out the queen ability all maxed out the warden has oh not the warden healing tome he's slacking over here and he's got that 18 ability for the royal champion but a level 27 giant gauntlet for the king what won't this king remove when he pops the ability there he goes look at this level 27 giant gauntlet popping the queen ability so she spawns three healers it's crazy picasso loves his healers here dropping additional healers for his queen so those healers are just gonna be coco healers potentially you know look at that king he's still going He's still going up there. My goodness, as the queen's gonna make her way towards this town hall. He does have an invis, which he can use on the outside over here. If he uses the invis over here, like this, he can get the queen to help path her way into the town hall, potentially. He does pull the air mine, but he's got Coco Loon to help protect his other healers. Or no, he's got Coco healers to protect his other healers. Uh -oh from the healers that spawned he drops another hog to try to pull out the clan castle pulls out some archers not the full cc but does he have to wait no i think he's fine okay the queen doesn't have to use an invis to get the queen to go into the town hall here but that flame flinger my goodness look at it the flame flinger is going to have access to both those multi-target infernos and that king is he's still going he just comes back to life now he uses the invis on his queen as rockland's fly right over her head but unfortunately the healers are getting hit by that town hall he's gonna have to freeze he goes with the poison 
The Queen already burned her ability. The Rocket Loon's doing some work on the Queen. He pops the ability, drops the Rage, he drops the Freeze. He's continuing his way through, drops the Skeleton onto the Monolith. The Queen is securing the Town Hall. He's got four more Hogs to move through. The Scattershot is locking onto him, but the Royal Champ, she's going around with that Spear Fox. What are we going to have in the Flame Flinger? Is it going to be... Oh, it's not Hogs, it's Super Minions. They're going to reach over the wall, finding a Seeking Air Mine. The Royal Champ's going to continue. The Queen dies off. He did lose a lot of the Hog Riders to the right side, but he's still got the RC ability. He's got a Rage as well, and this is going to be a three-star here for P. Castro. That King. It's not even fair with that King ability. Level 27. The value he got running all the way up and around this base. P. Castro, a maxed out gauntlet. Crazy. Boom Academy is looking at to answer with the Root Riders. How does he want to charge this queen with a baby dragon to funnel here? The blimp, I would say the blimp's objective is to grab that monolith. Drops the rage so the queen can walk her way here. And if you clear that monolith and pulling the clan castle out, he's going to have to funnel maybe the king to run this way. And then the Root Riders can move in with the queen like that through the base towards the town hall oh he's dropping a couple minions here the queen looks like oh actually hang on the queen from here could walk through this wall just like that and he's got three super wall breakers the first wall break will go right here because of the, the hero platform and then a second one could go here if he wants to use them there I see, hang on. There's a head. Oh, there's the first one to the platform, okay. And then the next one will be to this right here. Right there is so gonna be my guess. That wall piece. Am I gonna be am I gonna be right? This wall piece? Aha! I was right! It's that one. Hey look, I know some of my wall breakers. Ta-da! He took it down just because the building was touching that wall. That's why I went for that wall. As the root riders coming through and it was kind of close to that. I don't know. I'm probably just as the Root Riders are now coming on across the base here, as the Queen's going to be responsible for grabbing this Town Hall, popping that Warden Eternal Tome to protect these Root Riders, as the Queen is going to help remove the Town Hall, slowly getting through it, freezing up the Town Hall, town hall and the Multi-Target Inferno. Does find a Tornado Trap getting spun around here, making his way towards the back end Queen. Does have a Queen ability, a Rage, uses it now. The Royal Champ needs to be raged up, freezes up the enemy Queen Scatter and the Ground Expo as the RC does lose her Fox but still has the ability. Pops it now, skips across, and at the Burn Queen ability to get through the enemy Queen, there you go. Enemy Queen goes down with ease, multi as well, two shots that multi goes down, he's got to freeze, he's got an invis, and these wars are literally going to come down to whoever makes that one small mistake. And that is what it's going to cost you at the end of the day here. But no mistakes so far. Another three-star here from Boom Academy. Answering the call. GG. And going to keep pace with Navi. Gaku is up for Navi. With the Root Riders. Okay, we've got... Let's see the abilities here. 18 Rage Gem here for that Warden. Queen is down right next to the Ricochet Cannon. And look at this, he drops the queen with the unicorn in the ricochet cannon and just lets the unicorn die. That's an interesting play there. Pops the king ability. Takes out the royal champ. Normally, th these skeletons and royal champ and the Tesla farm would have just smashed the king. He would have been, like, stopped. Super miners in the... Wait. We saw, I saw, we saw super miners in the previous war from Navi. And now we're seeing super miners over here. The one super miner dies, and the other super miner also dies, but it pulls the queen that way. Okay. Why? What is the play with super miners being in the defensive CC? But now the queen. Uh oh, Gaku, Gaku, Gaku. Mayday, what's happening? Uh oh, that queen's got ability, and he's got to start the Root Riders. Okay. The monolith locks onto a Root Rider. He's going to take out the defensive king. Uh, 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 the town hall. He's got to go all out here. He's still, a, he does send his royal champion all, as well in. The queen needs to loop her way to the town hall. The ro There's the early warden ability. 
through an eagle artillery shot valkyries come out of the flame flinger to the left side they do take out the multi-target inferno this queen needs to pass her way to the town hall is she gonna come through he's gonna rage freeze the town hall here the royal champ is making her way through the diggy is on the warden to help stun anything as the queen can path her way back to the town hall the root riders have given access and the root riders have secured the town hall here as he makes his way to the eagle continuous through the backside has balloons down to the bottom taking out the air defense rc ability skips and he's okay the queen walked but he was able to adapt and still get the three pops the queen ability and getting a three star here for navi a little nervous but he was okay gaku in the trip jin gg jin is in okay gg in gg in with a blizzard hog rider okay gonna help take out a ricochet cannon a multi-target inferno can he get a poison spell probably through the ground x though no he doesn't the poison spell stays okay but it's gonna get launched yes it does that's good he gets launched pulls out the ice golem so he can deal with it this is why he has a baby dragon so the bait so watch this you pull these ice golems you drop a couple archers and then you drop the baby dragon and then you got or not I was gonna say you drop the you drop more archers and a baby dragon and then you don't have to have your queen get slowed down okay well as long as it doesn't affect him on time at the end of the day yeah this is better because the queen can get healed up okay but all the question is always about time now use the baby dragon to the top side I'm just say if it's a time fail you know why so he's gonna wall break into here towards the core drops a skeleton spell and a tassel farm pops king does get locked onto by the monolith which is unfortunate pops the king ability freezing the monolith getting through these skeletons and here goes the royal champion king's trying to make his way to the town hall poison gets launched hogs are down making his way to the top side ward needs to help protect the hogs as the eagle artillery shots are hitting him now ground skeletons are popping up the queen's got to burn her oh he's got an arrow on the queen hello he's got a eternal tome and the healing tome pops that warn ability He's gonna pop this queen ability arrow arrow where is it wait for it where's the arrow gonna line up wait wait for it. he's only level 10 that's it i got a level 18 arrow slacking over here you know i mean that's the only thing i really kind of maxed out but it is what it is pops it. oh he already popped the queen ability i was like where's the arrow he must have already popped it okay 50 seconds left I wasn't paying attention popping the rc ability don't mind me as he's getting through the multi arch tower with 42 seconds left as long as the rc stick can stay alive he's got it he's got the clean up with the wizards and a blizzard hog riders gets it done here for gg gg and Jin drops an invis doesn't even need it and time was not an issue granted there's only 20 seconds it could have been close but another three star for boom academy dima is in it's time for the hammer time baby he's gonna upgrade this town hall to town hall 17 already right he's ready he's ready as we've got ourselves some super barbs it's the search super barbarians is he gonna come from the complete opposite se oh wait a sec whoa we got a lot of goblins down here to start got six invises taking out these storages having to invest a lot of sneakies finding a spring trap oh that's a lot of goblins going in okay he's safe town hall is going down all right every hero is down to the bottom side of the space securing the town hall finding ground skeletons and sending a blimp off Ooh, look at this he doesn't hit that doesn't hit that sweeper he's gonna land onto the multi-arch tower there's the invis and it's gonna be a double clone start super archers clearing a scatter going for the monolith grabbing a multi can grab a ricochet cannon the other multi as well there's a lot of value with this super archers here and he also hits the defensive rage on the backside there's the next invis takes out that multi takes out this multi and does he take out the ricochet cannon oh no he doesn't it's low health but he's okay 
as he's gonna continue his way through the top side does have that level 14 rage gem archer in the corner is the king gonna walk is the king gonna walk or he comes back oh the root rider actually opening the wall allowed the king to come back now he's making his way up and around this base does have the king ability to be able to use as he pushes his way through with the queen hanging on to the royal champion finding more teslas and ground skeletons of the far top left as he continues his way to the core but this is just a matter of him moving through the space as we're having three stars left and right here taking out this ground expo go to the multi and this is looking easy he's got 15 more super barbs and look at this there was troll castles in the corner here that's not gonna stop here dima is crushing through root riders opening up the core of the space even still has a warden ability might use it to help yeah i would say use it to protect the root rider the root rider opens even more walls for that queen to continue her way through the raw champions joining in gonna have be able to pop the abilities super barbs and this is crushed taking out the royal champ taking out the defensive king popping the king ability my goodness what an attack here from dima taking this down and that is going to be a three star answering all tied up nine to nine now boom academy looking at a fourth triple to the board can they do it with some more root riders it's the queen charge all right balloons over to the tassel farm that pops up right here in the town hall we got an invisibility spell right behind the town hall as we've got the king going in to help deal with these ground skeletons a valkyrie's help we have a giant gauntlet i'm waiting for the arrow stunt you know we know someone like cynthia could do it he's done it in the birthday board pops that oh pops the king ability raising the invisibility spell town hall is going down the skellies went down through the splash of the giant gauntlet which is insane as a flame flinger is coming to the far right side queen's gonna have to deal with the headhunters continue his way through we got the wall breaker opening up this compartment here for that queen to step through does have to deal with these ice films here as the flame flinger is slowly clearing that side queen needs to step in range of the ground expo she does so the flame flinger does not get hit raging this queen up eagle has locked down to the queen as switch targets to the balloon for some reason i don't know why what an ai from eagle okay as now the eagle now locks down to the queen okay dropping a super barb some archers to the far right side as the queen continues her charge into a single target inferno that apprentice warden is trying to help he does have a couple more super wall breakers to open drop the skeleton spell but it's a little too late as a single locks on the queen so he's gonna have to use that free spell there's the wall break to open up deeper into this base to get to the eagle artillery drops the root riders with the warden to move into the enemy heroes towards that side headhunters helping as he continues pops that warden to really protect these root riders as the queen pulls that poison spell gonna have the force ability there you go eagle artillery goes down quickly flame flinger maybe open that up because it's not going to get any more value might as well have whatever's in it help either clean up or move through with the warden queen is dead healer stepping into the warden rage gem aurora to help try to heal up these root riders as he rages up the royal champion continuing his way through single target inferno does go down the royal champ continuing the queen is dead obviously so the single target inferno didn't work but the invisibility spell is already back here as that monolith if he pops the ability yep the invisibility spell goes off so he's not gonna be oh the the invis helps re redirect the mile of shots but this could be the defense that navi is looking for he's got no cleanup to the top side and is this just gonna time fail here my friends this is not gonna be a perfect perfect war because the best that boom academy can get now is 14 stars as this one falls short and stars is going to defend nice try to boom kazuma is in here for navi looking to put triple on the board and take the lead can they do it as some tassels popping up right on top of that queen healers are gonna help heal this queen up level 17 invisibility vial of course we got giant gauntlets here there's a flame flinger interesting 
He's using a flame flinger here. And there's a ground expo really close by. Raging this queen up. Multi archer tower doing some work to that queen. Unicorn absorbing some shots. But he's looking to take that multi archer tower down. He does. Flame flinger is going to try to go for this multi here. Is he going to wall break this queen into this compartment to get access to the eagle? Oh, wait, no, he wall. Oh, yep, he wall breaks the archer tower. The problem is he has to wait now until that wizard tower goes down if he wants to wall break again. Rocket loons. Oh my goodness, look at all those traps right there. Rocket loons come out, and I don't know if that was worth. Well, wait a second. The rocket loons would have pulled out the CC. Is that what he was going for? Once that wizard tower went down, that's when he dropped the next wall breaker. So he can wall breaker open the compartment for the town hall, which means there's ice golems probably waiting inside the CC. As this queen is continuing her charge to that town hall, but this multi. Oh no, he wanted those rocket loons to go for this multi. That's definitely what he wanted them to go for so that the healers would stay protected longer. But yeah, because the healers are getting hit. That's exactly why he wanted those rocket loons to take out that multi, because his healers are going to go down. We've got that warden coming in with the wall to the right side. Tunnel has been secured, but that multi is staying up. And my friends, do we have an answer from Navi of falling short? Or can Kazuma still get this one here as the queen's abilities force? Healers are dead. Finds a tornado trap, pushing his way through towards the right side, trying to keep his royal champion alive with three more freezes. Freezes the... Oh, the queen is actually still alive here. Hang on. She's going to grab that multi. Wait a second. With RC ability, that queen somehow stayed alive. And the royal champ's going to continue with her ability and get it. Kazuma is going to get the three star here for Navi. And give him the advantage drops the balloon to the bottom side headhunters down there as well he's got the time he's got the rc ability for cleanup too g g to you kazuma pops the ability skips across and down this face goes this was close this was not looking too good and then the queen stayed alive and gg and now navi's up by a star boom academy now in with their final attack if they triple then stars of Navi must get at least above a 91% two star to win the war. As we got seven invis, a recall spell here. Hello? Whoa, wait, we got an RC to start with the fox? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What is this? Going RC. Seven invises for this R. Oh no, she's going the wrong way. He wanted that RC to go and get the Ricochet Cannons and the Multi-Target Inferno. He's going to rage up this Royal Champ. Uses another Invis. Wait, hello. He wanted to get this stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at what he's doing here. Look at what he's doing. He's going for this... What? Look at this. He's got another Invis. Wait, what is... The, what is happening? What is happening? What is this? He finds a tornado trap. He stays invisible. He makes her invisible again. But pops the ability and recalls her. Oh, what? What's that? Dude, this is not the Creative Master Series. What's going on? People are going to be taking notes here. What? Oh my goodness. Let's see what's possible here. If you time that invisibility perfectly, the RC will become invisible, uninvisible, un. But he wasn't doing it perfectly there, but... Jeez, okay, Rue Rider's coming in. Don't have to worry about any eagle artillery shooting you, or any ricochet cannons for that matter. As he continues his way through, we got Rackaloon, Super Minions, a Headhunter as well. As he can pop the King ability, continuing his way down to the bottom side. Does have the War Internal Tome, pops it now to protect the King. But the King's ability did go off. As he continues with the super minions coming out from the from the siege barracks, it looks like. As the royal champ was redeployed with that recall spell to the bottom side. As he continues his way around. Has two headhunters, a couple super barbarians still to use, but what a plan with the invisits. And then recalling that RC, the value. That was pretty cool. You could pop this queen ability here. Now this was definitely my favorite attack of the war by 
far. So if you see a lot of value like that next to each other, and you can send your RC in with the Spear Fox, the Raw Champion is hanging on. Oh, she dies. He's got the Unicorn. He's got some Super Minions pulling some traps. It's just the Teslas that are the biggest problem here. The Builder Head as well. Super Minion takes it down. 24 seconds. The Wizards from the Siege Barracks trying to clutch. They're taking the stuff down, but we got a Sneaky Goblin onto a Wizard Tower. More Sneaky Goblins onto the Wizard Tower. The Queen is helping. The Sneaky Goblins do a lot of damage. And the Queen takes the Wizard Tower down. What? In attack. And this is it. Stars needs to get above a 91% two-star to win. Three-star you win, but he has to hit a 92% two-star or higher to get that victory. With the Zap Lalo, here we go, my friends. There are 30 people watching stars here. No pressure. My, uh, yeah, I would be, I would be freaking out here. Uh, if I saw 30 people watching this, I would be like, are you serious? What is happening? As the lightning is taking out a multi, I'll ground expo. We got an invis next to this town hall. Poison in the core as well. This flame flinger is going to take its sweet time. We do have a couple mortars up here as well. Oh, mortar, mortar, mortar. The flame flinger still out of range. We got the king down in the bottom side. Has a level 20 gauntlet on that king. As the queen's going to move through, drop the skeleton spell in front of that monolith. We do have a hole in the base right there next to the wizard tower and cannon. As this king is going to get pulled to the defensive queen. And then the ability will help go and keep him going into the scatter shot. So that queen actually helped a lot. Wow, that was actually... Dude. Stars took advantage of that queen pulling the king into that compartment and completely gutting it. The king has not yet pulled this clan castle and his queen is gonna maybe step... Wait, is the queen gonna... No, the queen's walking. Guys, the queen's walking. Oh, no, 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 no. The queen's walking. Stars, what do you do? He might have to go all out. The town hall, though, can become invisible. He hasn't pulled the CC out either. Guys, guys, hang on. This is Stars. This is Stars. He's going to switch to a... No, he can't switch to a blimp. That's right. He's already used the Flame Flinger. Um, he sends the Royal Champion in. The invisibility spell is there. Send some Headhunters. That means he's going to pop the Warden ability now. He does. To protect the Headhunters to run across the Royal Champ. Yeah, Super Miners came out of the CC. Which the Queen is going to find the explosions and take a lot of damage. He sends a handful of back-end balloons to go for the Town Hall. The Raw Champion needs to go for this multi. He freezes the cannon, freezes the Town Hall. The Raw Champion's continuing. We got a Super Miner in the core, which is going to damage... No, the Super Miner doesn't know where to go. It's running somewhere. He's got balloons onto the Town Hall. He's hit. He's past 91%. He's hit 92 and stars. Pops the RC ability. And he's gonna get this one. The RC, at the end of the day, will make her way to the top side while the Hound is going to pop. Won't do too much, but the RC will save this one here. And Stars delivers. And my friends, Navi is going to be getting a perfect war in this match against Boom Academy. 15 stars to 14 stars what a match we had here and that's what these matches really will be one small mistake 91 is all that determined this one 15 to 14 what a match gg to you Navi.